Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace your bathtub faucet as well as your shower wand and hose and really this whole thing. I just purchased a, uh, a new faucet on Amazon that came with everything that you need, so I'll put a link in the description. But the reason I'm doing this is because our little shower diverter piece uh, broke and it's an internal piece i tried to just replace this but um since it's an internal piece unfortunately i'm having to replace uh the whole faucet and most of the kits uh, that you find online come with everything the hose the wand you know the whole kit and caboodle so without further ado let's get going with this install to remove this there's four screws here on this back piece and then it is caulked in so I'm going to take a, a razor blade, cut that, remove those screws, and then this part should come off. I'm also going to go ahead and take this bottom part off, which actually screws off real nice and easy, this hose. So here are the supply valves in the back. I'm gonna unscrew them from here. It is a little tight, but I should be able to get it done. And then the faucet should come off. One thing that's important to make note of is you wanna make sure your water pump is turned on and you should open up your valves ahead of time, uh, which I already did, uh, to make sure that all the water is out of the lines and your lines are not pressurized. All right, so I got everything off. Here are two supply lines. It's always good to look in here and make sure you don't see any water stains. Um, it looks like everything's good here. The sealant was good, so we didn't have any leaking. So now we have our faucet onto this uh, piece. You can see there's these two screwed or threaded uh, flanges here holding the old faucet in. We're gonna go ahead and take those off and then put the new faucet on here. Boom, just like so. Let me go ahead and wipe this clean. Now I got that off. I'm gonna go ahead and there is a flange that uh, goes on the back side here of the faucet. You wanna make sure that's going the right way. There is this little small lip here. So that's the way you can tell it goes. And now we see it's important to make sure if you have a piece like ours where see it's angled on the bottom, flat on the top, make sure it goes in the same way. And now you have your threaded flanges here. And this kit's actually pretty nice because you get a rubber washer that sits in there like that, which is pretty cool because then should make it nice and snug on there. And you tighten it down. I'm just going to kind of loosely tighten both of them here. Make sure that looks kind of square and move it as I need to here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down. So now that I have the new faucet on here, I'm going to go ahead and just do the reverse of what we just did and hook up the supply lines on the back. All right, so now I have my supply lines on. I did have to get some pliers with some longer handles because it was a little challenging to get my hand back in there to first get it tightened just to get started and then tighten it up. Before I put this all back, what I'm actually gonna do now is turn on the water pump because I wanna be able to see and make sure that I these are tight enough and that there's no leaking water, you know, there's nothing dripping or whatever uh, before I put this back and then seal it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the water and then look for leaks and make sure that the valves work and everything is good with the faucet. All right, so the water pump is turned on. Actually, the valves were open when I pressurized the system. But I'll go ahead and open that up. I actually really like these quarter turn valves. People have said that in the comments on uh, 
on this on Amazon that they really like the quarter turn valves. They said that they could adjust the temperature of their shower bath much easier. And everything is looking good. I did temporarily hook the shower wand up because I want to uh, make sure that this all works and again that there's no leaking or water shooting back or anything like that. Oh, working up there. No leaks back there. Beautiful. I'm taking uh, this old uh, hose and everything is pretty self-explanatory. Just unscrew this. I am going to keep this just in case we decide that this uh, shower head we like better. But then all we're going to have here is just a couple screws up here on this piece and then a couple screws on this bottom piece here. And I double checked and looked at everything. It looks like the holes are going to line up perfectly. All right, so we got our old pieces off. Here is the new piece. Again, you want to make sure you're putting it uh, in the proper direction, which would be with these kind of holes for the uh, handle up. And that part's going to go down. Now, you can use your old existing screws or the new ones that are provided. All right, so we have these two parts on here now. So we're going to go ahead and feed the hose up. And then on your hose, you can see there's this little white part and they give you these rubber gaskets. If you don't have this little rubber gasket, your shower head or where you plug it into the faucet is going to leak. So we're just gonna put that rubber gasket in there Go ahead and screw this on. Should just be able to hand tighten this. Shouldn't need a wrench or anything like that. And it should be good. So then we'll put that up there like so. Looks like it a little bit taller than our other one. I like that, that's nice. Got that little gasket in there. Yeah, we're just gonna hand tighten that. So here is a new faucet. I'm going to see that the shower head works. Looks like the on off switch up here works nicely. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. That looks good. Perfect. This uh, control switch up here works a lot easier than our old one. Our old one was super tight, but this one is not nearly as bad. I like that. Alright guys, well that pretty much wraps it up for this installation video. All that I have left is to put some uh, silicone around here. So what I'm going to do is just clean this up with a rag and some alcohol, get this old sealant off, and then I just have some kitchen and bath clear sealant that I'm going to put around here and around the faucet. So you can just pick up clear, white, you know, almond, whatever your preference is, and you definitely want to make sure you get that sealed up so no moisture gets in there. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please give her a thumbs up. I do a lot of other DIY projects like this, so check out some of my other videos. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing it in the next one.